Today was a really busy day for Capital News. Yeah, we have a great show lined up for you guys. Tonight, we'll be going over your thoughts on being in Springfield this weekend. You don't want to miss it. Capital News, News update starts in three, two, one. Hello and welcome to the Capital News Update. I'm Anna Schluter. And I'm Annie Dickerson. Before we talk about today, let's look at how we got here. Back at pre 2, I took a look into some of the most controversial bills from one of the many delegations. From legalization of drugs to police firearms, tonight at pre 2, we have identified several controversial bills. The, the, the main thing about psilocybin is that what it does is it helps with mental disorders. And so what we were worried about is all, all the people that have depression and anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder that live their lives every day struggling to fit in with the rest of society. And what psilocybin really does is it works as a cure for these mental illnesses. Psilocybin is found in um, mushrooms generally, the mushrooms known as you know, shrooms and uh, Right, right now, psilocybin and shrooms are labeled as a narcotic that is um, banned in the U.S. Basically, what we were thinking of was the purpose of our bill wasn't to hinder the police's ability to protect the citizens, but rather to, uh, in the case of you know police misuse or brutality, that they won't have uh, such powerful weapons that like other innocents could actually be injured. So far, these bills have been passed at pre 1 and 2, but do they have what it takes to survive Springfield? I feel like the main problem with getting something like this passed would be awareness, and that's, that's our big push here is we're trying to make people aware of the issue and aware as to how psilocybin will really help people because people don't understand that it's, it's not just some hallucinogenic that people in the 60s used to take all the time. It's, it's something that can honestly and truly help people. You know, we have time to argue about it and describe it. I feel like people will see our point of view and they'll agree on it. Despite what happens tonight, these bills will definitely be ones to watch. Oh, yeah. Reporting for Capital News Update, I'm Annie Dickerson. Bills aren't the only controversial thing in youth and government. We also have some footage from pre ledge to considering the reoccurring dress code problems. Let's take a look. Pre-Ledge 1 and 2 is not only the beginning of the road to Springfield, but also the inspiration for fabulous fashion finds. I, I came in every day sharp, you know what I'm saying? Had on a sports jacket, had my American flag pin. Um, yeah, I, every morning my, my clothes were ironed, they were crisp. I was, I was the best looking person in the Capitol. When choosing your outfit for the day, it's important to keep in mind the official dress code for the youth and government program. Anytime that you are in the Capitol building, okay. so you have to be in your business professional. So a suit, jacket, coat, tie, nylons, heels, okay. that kind of stuff. I'm wearing business professional. Um, I have black shoes, black pants, a suit, jacket, shirt, and tie. Business professional and business casual doesn't have to mean boring, but just be sure to keep policies in mind. What's your style for Springfield? I'm Affy B, reporting for Capitol News Update. The road to Springfield was fun, but today was even better. Annie and I were able to get your candid opinions on being in the state's capital. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. After many long weeks of preparation and anticipation, thank God it's finally here. Thank God it's Springfield. Let's take a look into the excitement that Youth in Government 2015 has to offer. Springfield and see how well my bill does in um, the house. I'm really excited to be here in Springfield and I'm super excited for mandatory fun night. You excited to be here this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, I'm so pumped. Yes. Camera, hi. There is clearly no denying the energy that students are bringing to Springfield this year. Today's events were a great kickoff for the next two days. My favorite part of today was um, when the governors did like the speeches. The candidates this year brought a lot of energy. I think it's fantastic. I'm so excited. I'm just really excited for this weekend because I just I just really wanted to see everyone's ideas and see everyone's bills. I am excited because I was 
went to Springfield last year and I had a lot of fun and I'm just excited to do it again. I'm excited for Mandatory Fun Night because of the dancing, I guess, and just socializing and laser tag. It's my favorite. I feel like it's so fun. Like, I don't, I don't know. It brings back old memories. As the first day of this weekend comes to a close, prepare yourselves to be blown away by mouthwatering cafeteria food, a not necessarily mandatory, but definitely fun night, and a lot of politics at the State Capitol building. T -G -I -S, T -G -I -S, T -G -I -S, TGIS. Reporting for Capital News Update, I'm Annie Dickerson. And I'm Anna Schluter. Stay classy and remember, thank God it's Springfield. I don't know about you, but that definitely gets me excited for this weekend. Agreed. But on a more serious note, there are many goals to accomplish this weekend as well. Here we go with an in-depth interview into the governor's race with Africa Baker and Isabella Bauer. Although it is a huge accomplishment to be elected as the governor of the YMCA's Youth in Government program, it's important to recognize all of the candidates and their varying qualities. I think my qualities include being a good leader. I know I'm a baseball player also, and I've been named the captain of my team. So that is something that's helped me build up leadership qualities so I can help guide other people in what to do. I think I'm very sincere with everyone. I think that's another strong quality that I carry as a candidate. I think being sincere is just one of those qualities that's very hard to fake and easily, you can sense that in a person. So I think I'm really sincere with all the um, members of the club and really and I'm open to what they have to say and their opinions. I would say that I can bring a good blend of being fun but I can also take stuff seriously. Um, I'm a big like politic and history buff and geography and stuff. Like I, I, I'm pretty aware of stuff going on. I think that'll help when coming to signing bills and whatnot. The candidates use different tactics to win the vote, like being humorous or focusing on serious topics. I think that somebody who has a really good focus and work ethic is definitely someone who's worthy of a higher title because they should be the people that are in charge if they know how to handle the issues. You know, if they're outgoing and it seems like I could go up to talk to them, then I would definitely vote for them. But, you know, if they're shy, I probably wouldn't, you know, vote for them. I think that their speech, like, has a lot to do with it because the way that they present themselves tells me a lot. A candidate should, a candidate should be more serious because it produces more of an outcome than somebody who's just there for entertainment. I prefer the more like comedious uh, tactic. And it pers kind of persuades me to vote for them if they can make me laugh and are funny. I know my speech has been serious and everything I've done so far has been serious, but I also know how to have a good time and I hope that they will see that at Mandatory Fun Night on Saturday. Like I said, I can bring a good blend of fun but also serious. And I know issues pretty well. Um, I don't know if that necessarily makes me stand apart, but those guys are great too. One of my strong qualities definitely is my sense of humor. I'm very like easygoing and like just the way I carry myself. Uh, I like to think that I'm a very relaxed person, like easy to talk to. Regardless if you're pro-humor or prefer serious business, the candidate you choose should effectively run office and maintain the overall objective of the Youth and Government program. Reporting for Capital News Update, I'm Africa Baker. We'd like to wish congratulations to our winners and the new Youth Governor, Daniel Park, Chief Justice Ashley Maris, Lieutenant Governor Carly LeRoy, Secretary of State Rachel Shukla, Executive Director of Lobbyists Archit Dar, Speaker of the House Savannah Bowles, Daniel Flood, and Jessica Kim, and finally, the President of the Senate, Wade Zanders, Ethan Omberger, and Deepika Khanna. We hope to see great things from you this weekend. However, don't forget to follow the rules. Here's some warning from our advisors. From the Youth and Government Advisors, here are the best tips to stay out of trouble this weekend. Remember uh, why you wanted to be part of this program. Remember uh, the why you're here and also appreciate the unbelievable opportunity that you have to be in our capital. You know, the best thing for students to do is just use common sense. Uh, if it's not something you would do in a classroom at school, don't do it at youth and government. You know, um, it's, it's really no different. If someone decides to bring alcohol to youth and government, it's no different than opening it up in a, in a government class at, at school. So just use your common sense and, and try to hold back on doing things that are inappropriate, you know, until <laughs> you get back home. Here are some examples of past mistakes that you can learn a lesson from. 
I've seen things from people trashing rooms where they were pulling the headboards off of uh, rooms, using the surfboards, and they broke in half. Uh, tearing up mattresses and box springs. I've seen students who have brought, you know, alcohol and illegal drugs uh, down to just people being too noisy. Once in a while, we'll have somebody who can't sleep, who tends to walk a little bit at nighttime. I think that's probably the biggest problem we've had, uh, and it's only happened once. Uh, and uh, well, I, I will. Early on in my career, we did have. A student caught doing drugs so uh, th that, that's probably the, those two are just uh, exceptions to the rule. Have you run into any issues today? Uh, today yeah there's been a couple of dress code issues um, I won't go into specifics or anything like that but um, really uh, it, you know, it seems like it's usually the girls and uh, I still haven't figured out why. Have you run into many issues today? No, I've, I've not seen anything today. Students seem to be on their best behavior and people seem focused on the, on the job at hand and so far it's been a great year here. Although we are all excited to be here, keep Springfield fun and stay out of trouble with the wise advice from these advisors. Make new friends, uh, meet people from other delegations, meet people from other parts of the state. Uh, this is an experience uh, that is unique and go out there and, and again, make it worth every every minute make connections with with people um, get experience you know we are we have a beautiful state capital you know respect it I, I think that um, this is something that not doesn't happen in every state so just say make the most of it um, and have fun you're here for three days uh, it's after a while it does kind of get tiring um, and whenever they're in committee and they're in the uh, in session uh, Sometimes you can see, I know whenever I'm doing a security duty, they're uh, uh, kind of uh, dozing off or not paying attention to what's going on. I always fear you've, you've paid your money, you've put in this amount of work, you really need to uh, put forth as much effort as you can in order to get the most out of this uh, enjoyment. Reporting from Capital News Update, I'm Becca Glennon. Tonight we've been able to go back to Preledge 2 and have a couple of laughs. But still remain focused on the serious aspects of youth and government. Thanks again for watching tonight. I'm Anna Schluter. And I'm Annie Dickerson. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Regardless if you are pro humor or serious business, be sure to elect the governor. I don't remember what I said. It doesn't matter. One more time. Sorry, I messed up a little bit. <laughs> It's clearly no denying the energy that students are bringing to Springfield this year. <laughs> Any people are laughing. Good. This is gonna be on the news. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. I started laughing. No denying. We're not recording this. It's okay.